Concrete barriers are used on highways to separate traffic and protect drivers from oncoming traffic. These barriers may come with higher attachments deployed to discourage people on foot from crossing highways. With no national guidelines for design, there is a need to study the effectiveness of these barriers to improve safety for motorists and pedestrians. The Texas Department of Transportation is working with the Texas A&M Transportation Institute to identify the types of attachments that can be mounted to concrete barriers and evaluate their performance and effectiveness. Occasionally, for whatever reason, some folks will try to uh, cross the median on a freeway or uh, something, uh, an analogous type of roadway, and uh, a lot of fatalities occur with people who are hit after crossing or on their way to cross the uh, barrier. So what we wanted to do here is determine what type of attachments or extensions can we put on these barrier to make them tall enough and visible enough that would dissuade people from wanting to cross them. The first step that we took, it was actually to look at existing attachments to barriers and uh, think about uh, could we actually potentially use these systems and repurpose them with the objective of deter pedestrian crossing. And so what we wanted to do is identify systems that we could repurpose for their objective and then evaluate them to the current criteria that we have for high speed impacts. The key task was kind of determining the type of systems that we wanted to kind of really look at. So we have a couple of proprietary type systems that we kind of investigated. The uh, researchers did some due diligence on those. And uh, we also have a, 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 like a chain link fence type structure that can be used in certain applications as well. Another thing that we did, it was to actually develop a non-proprietary system uh, with the same objective of uh, trying to deter pedestrian crossing. And that was with use of uh, a chain link fence that was appropriately designed so that it would impede people from just crossing or going over the barrier. But at the same time, uh, it would not present a hazard in terms of debris when it's impacted by vehicles. The guidance that we'll, we'll provide to the districts will provide some guidance on good locations to provide this barrier if they're having a problem, if they're having historical crashes where pedestrians are crossing. And then, of course, once it's applied, it will reduce uh, pedestrian f fatalities. It can't, it can't help but do that. We have options. It's not just one. We actually found a few options, and we have uh, verified through full-scale crash testing that the, all these systems are crash-worthy per the current uh, federal standards. So I'm confident that the results of this project not only will benefit the TxDOT and the transportation for TxDOT trying to help saving lives from a, a vulnerable user's perspective and making sure that also occupants in vehicles are safe, but it will actually benefit the entire nation. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.